If you've been on the internet in the past few weeks, then you probably already know that on December 14th, the Federal Communications Commission, the FCC here in the U.S., will vote on whether or not to end net neutrality, the regulation that forces internet service providers to not discriminate based on what you're legally using your bandwidth for, whether watching shows on Netflix or posting photos on Instagram or watching me complain about bad science here on YouTube. You also may know that the FCC is most likely going to do it because they're a bunch of mostly assholes run by asshole-in-chief Ajit Pai, formerly Associate General Counsel for Verizon. Yes, the Verizon that would absolutely love to charge you extra to watch this video. You should complain to the FCC anyway uh, because... It can't hurt. Go ahead, send them an email, link is below. But you should also be prepared for that to not work, and you should be aware of the steps that are going to follow. First and foremost will be someone challenging the ruling in a court of law, Um, and then there will always be appeals, of course, and then there might be a congressional intervention. Over on Reddit, admins have pointed out the need for personal stories that they can take to Capitol Hill and file in court briefs in order to truly convince politicians and judges that net neutrality is an important ideal to uphold. With that in mind, I wanted to add my own thoughts. Just sharing science and skepticism with you here on YouTube and on Skeptic has always been a battle against discriminatory companies and algorithms. The recent ad apocalypse here on YouTube is just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, I've been hurt worse before. (laughs) Sure, most of my videos of late haven't been friendly to advertisers, so I make pretty much nothing off of them uh, from AdSense. But for years now, YouTube's algorithms uh, that suggest videos to you generally have left out channels of my size, and YouTube and AdSense demonetized any video that went viral due to suspicious activity, suspicious clicks. Over on Skeptic, the same thing has happened. Uh, Any article that goes viral gets demonetized. Uh, AdSense has also demonetized articles about the science of human sexuality because they consider it pornography, even if there are no photos. That's why I'm on Patreon. Uh, It's the only reason I continue to make YouTube videos, uh, because people can individually choose to support what I do. The money I make from Patreon also supports Skeptic, since AdSense is no longer enough to cover server costs there. So I know that without net neutrality, the situation would be thousands of times worse. If people have to pay to access Skeptic or my YouTube videos, and all of that money is going to Comcast and Verizon, where will my audience find the extra money to pay me for the work I do? Many of them just wouldn't, and I would understand that. Uh, Most of my support doesn't come from wealthy individuals pledging $100 a video, although, you know, that's nice when that happens. but most of it comes from regular folks who just have a few dollars to spare each month for a service that they appreciate. Doing away with net neutrality would not just affect me personally because it'll be harder for me to afford to pay to access all of the websites that I access on a daily basis to do what I do, but it will also make it nearly impossible for me to do what I do, to communicate science and skepticism to people who are interested in those topics. And of course, then I'd be out of a job, so I would have to fall back to another profession. Probably cooking meth. That's right, FCC, you're basically making another Walter White. I'm the one who knocks now. Seriously, though, contact the FCC while you can, and get ready for this fight to continue to go to the courts and to Congress. December 14th will likely not be the last time we'll have to defend net neutrality from greedy media companies.